Kylie. Hi, I'm Ella, and we're going to talk to you about the book Pepper. Hi, I'm Claire. Hi, I'm Pauline, and the author of Pepper is Brian Bordford. Hi, Ella, I was looking for you. I can tell you some of the characters of Pepper. Well, the first one is Pepper himself. He's a black and he, he has a friend named Dixie, but he doesn't like him very much, and he's fat and black just like Pepper, and also lives by him. Isn't Abby Pepper's owner, and she loves him very much? Mm-hmm. Well, Linda's another owner of Pepper, but she's creepy. You guys should probably keep listening to find out who she is. Do you know what the main settings are in Pepper? Yeah, I know one. Abby's house, because it's very important, and it's where Pepper and Abby live. Oh, um, yeah. There are also lots of different highways and forests. Do you know what the main ideas of Pepper are? Yeah, I know one. Pepper falls asleep outside and gets stolen by people who want him to hunt. He eventually runs away from them. Bye. Hey, Polly. I can tell you a few things about the book Pepper. Okay, hit me. While, run, while he's running away, he gets bumped by a car and taken to the pound. And at the pound, he gets adopted by a creepy girl named Belinda before the vet puts him down. Oh yeah, now I remember. Belinda realizes that Pepper already has a home and lets Pepper go. Yep. Did you know? <laughs> I know what. And remember, don't judge a book by its iMovie.